are very much like me in the morning. Slow, uh, clumsy, clumsy, crazy hair. <laughs> I think some of my neighbors when they see Hanging me sometimes around. are like, there's no way that chick's on TV. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it would. It'd be a great yeah. day once you get up and at it to make your way outside. Right. Brush the hair. Put brush the makeup please on. Please brush the hair before you go outside. And you might be starting to see some fall color as you step out. This is as I was on my walk yesterday with my adorable dog, Colby, who is loving the cooler air. Started to see some of the leaves change in my neighborhood. I'm sure a lot of you are starting to see the fall color change as well. That is my favorite. Thing about fall. Growing up in South Florida, palm trees don't change colors. So that was the fun part about moving to Georgia almost eight years ago now. Currently, patchy color and it will stay patchy for about another week. But then in just three weeks, beginning of November, we will see full color and oh my gosh, I know it's going to be beautiful. These cool mornings, warm, sunny afternoons we've had, that is perfect for fall color. So I know we'll be seeing plenty of the bright colors in the sky. Starting to see some here in Lake Lanier. I've been watching this tree for a couple of weeks. Lake Lanier looks great. A couple of ripples on the water because it is a little breezy and it will stay breezy through the day today. The sun's starting to go to work. We're already closer to 60 degrees in Atlanta, 51 in Canton, 53 in Carrollton, 52 in Griffin in the low to mid 40s up in our far northern communities up in the mountains. Still jacket worthy. Are you trying to get outside today? Are you a golfer? You probably want to make a tea time because it is going to be a great day outside. By 11, we'll be near 60 degrees, noon, mid 60s, and around 3 o'clock, temperatures will be in the low 70s. It just doesn't get better than this, guys. The day is beautiful. So no matter what you have planned, make sure you spend at least a little bit of time outdoors today and soak it all in. After a very cold week, we deserve weather like this. Low 70s area-wide today for afternoon high temperatures. 72 in Atlanta, 74 in Rome, 73 in the range maybe up in the higher elevations of the mountains you get close to 70 don't quite break it taking you through the evening tonight if you have any dinner plans around six o'clock we'll still be in the upper 60s we will cool very quickly so by nine o'clock we'll be in the 50s and overnight tonight lows will drop into the low to mid 40s so it will be another cold start to tomorrow you will need the jacket sunday morning tomorrow afternoon though you can peel off the layers 77 degrees, a much warmer afternoon and warmer will be a trend for the upcoming week, upper 70s through the start of the week. And then Wednesday we do hit 80 degrees. So our highs in the 60s will be a thing of the past. And that seems to be the case even as we head into the end of October. So starting to think about those Halloween costumes. You just might not need a jacket, but we'll be keeping a very close eye on that Halloween forecast for you. Quickly want to take you to the tropics. We do have Tropical Storm Nadine that's about to move inland near Belize. This is not going to impact us. We do also have another disturbance that may develop later today, tropical depression or a tropical storm. Nothing going on in the tropics is going to impact us. We have nothing short of stunning weather. Low 70s today, upper 70s tomorrow. Mornings stay chilly in the 50s. You will need a jacket each morning. Highs in the upper 70s to near 80 through most of the week. A cold front could move through Thursday. Not going to bring us rain, but it'll drop us down into the mid 70s by next Friday. Another check of